Now let's go outside and take the signal scout to align the antenna and check all the connections in the media enclosure, followed by returning to the living room and ultimately checking the TV and cable modem. As you can see, I've got my antenna mounted on its pole. Although it is not aligned yet, I'm going to use the signal scout for that task. I'm going to climb up the ladder, connect my signal scout to the antenna, and tune it with the audible feedback. Now that the antenna is perfectly aligned, I'll connect the drop cable to the box and we'll go measure at the end of this cable. Now that we've installed and aligned our antenna, it's time to go to the media enclosure and do some tests here. First we'd like to get acquainted with the cabling in here. This is the drop cable from the actual antenna up on the roof. This is the drop cable from the cable TV company, which is on an aerial tap across the street. This is the cable that goes to the entertainment center for the cable modem. And this is the cable that goes to the entertainment center for the off-air TV. Our first test is going to be use the signal scout to measure the drop cable from the antenna and make sure our signal is still good. That is great. Negative 70 dBm and 25 dB signal to noise. Next thing I'm going to do is check the cable drop from the cable TV company. To go to cable TV mode. All our signals are plus 10 with a tilt of negative 2.8. That's a good cable TV signal. Lastly, I want to check the noise coming from the home. I'm going to put a barrel on. Go to the noise menu. And I like to set, let this sit for between 10 and 30 seconds um, in case there's any intermittent or spurious noise. And the idea behind this is any uh, electrical appliances or anything near a cut cable in the coax will generate noise and the cut coax could pick up that noise and uh, reduce the quality of the internet service. This is at minus 34 dBmV. Uh, this is a good noise measurement. We are now in the entertainment center in the home. And as you can see, we have our black cable TV wire from outside. And we have our white antenna wire from outside. First thing we want to do is double check that the cable TV signals are good, so we'll run scan menu on the signal scout. All 107 channels look good. I'm now going to hook this cable up to our cable modem and let it start doing its login. If you know anything about cable modems, when you get your four lights, you are logged in. It takes sometimes around 30 seconds. In the meantime, I'm going to check our antenna signal from outside for our free TV before we hook it up to the TV. So as you can see, I'm going to go into ATSC mode. Check level. Double check, 29, very good. I'm going to connect that. As you can see, our cable modem is just about completed log on. 
connect this to our TV. And let's see the TV. And as you can see, we have free digital TV, the internet is logged on, and the installation is complete. Now I just have to put the TV up above the fireplace. Thank you for watching this Cyber Data Systems instructional video. Now if you'd like more information, please go to the website and look for the Signal Scout.